Now, my first guest tonight is only three weeks into his new job, and already he's presented Shamrock in Washington. He's landed visits by Obama and the Queen. Will you please welcome the real Taoiseach? So, so, come here. Will I say the line? Will I say the line? <laughs> Who is your sexy daddy? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Brendan. Uh, and what, what a first three weeks in the job. It's been, it's been Well, I am so hot right it? now. I am so hot right now. That right now at home, somewhere out there watching Sheila Shorgan's having an orgasm. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking hell, what a week. I'm out of the country more than, more than Dennis O'Brien at the minute. Huh? <laughs> Freaking tax exile I am already. Don't worry, Brendan, he's not watching. He doesn't have a television license, although Laurie's gonna sort him out at the end of the week. <laughs> Dirty thing, yeah. How are things? Great, great, and, and I, how, are, how are you I, getting on? Well, you know, I've been around, I've been around the world now, and uh, by the way, did anyone observe the Earth Hour tonight? I know the Green Party did, they switched off the feckin' lights for an hour, and that was the end of that. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, myself and Michael Noonan, we, uh, we observed the Earth Hour, where everyone's supposed to switch off their lights around the world. We, we turned off the light at the end of the tunnel. So that's the end of that. <laughs> but uh, I'm, uh, you know, the EU summit is very tough for me, obviously. Uh, the only way I get through all those meetings is I'm under the table with the old iPhone, you know, playing the old, on the old Petty Power app and Angry Birds. But enough about Lucinda Creighton, though. <laughs> <laughs> but um, no, uh, I've just come back from Washington as well, as we all know or to see my friend Barack Obama. I feel a little bit like Obama myself, you know. Yeah. Obama, from the old Kenyan word for Kennedy. As you know, <laughs> he's coming over to visit us in May and he dyed all the fountains and the rivers green in our honor of the Irish. And I said to him, well, thankfully, we are ready for your visit since we've already dyed the river Liffey feckin' black. In the world. <laughs> so, but I love the Americans. Uh, I have a great respect for the American political dynasties uh, such as John and Edward Kennedy, or Jedward, I believe they're known. <laughs> and uh, Asher, well, as you know, I had a small bit of a, a run-in with the American media in my first few days in the job. No? The New York Times referred oh, to oh, me yeah, yeah, yeah. as a lady, as we know. But, and, and the New York Times should know right well that uh, I'm only Dame Inda on Thursday nights. <laughs> <laughs> That's when the old blue skirts get together, <laughs> up at the old Leeson Street Bridge. But I'm especially nervous about the Queen's visit. Uh, yeah. Queen Elizabeth, as we know, is coming as well. I'm, you know, typical nightmare. I'm just terrified I might show up in the same dress as her. <laughs> <laughs> Anything could happen, you know. Now, now Tisha, your, your new cabinet is kind of a curious mixture, isn't it, of the old guard and some new faces oh, yeah. as well? Oh, yeah. Well, Michael, none of you might remember in the 90s. It was very high pitched and very, he was a very excitable character back in the 90s. But these days, he's taken an altogether more sinister tone. <laughs> Tonight, people of Ireland, don't forget that the time is changing. I highly recommend you turn the clocks back to 1973. <laughs> and don't forget about the census either on April 10th. A census taker once tried to test me. I ate his liver with some fava beads and a nice hair <laughs> thing. <laughs> but there, there, there are a few smart Alex in the cabinet as well, like the, the young lad, uh, Leo. Leo is a very hard name to pronounce. Leo Veruca or something. Uh, it's, it's actually Leo Vratkar. Uh, I'm the, the youngest member of cabinet, uh, as we know. Uh, I'm the minister for, for transport, uh, tourism, and sport. Uh, so that's the GAA fucked for five years. <laughs> <laughs> but, but as a medical expert, uh, I, I, I'm here to help Enda. He was asking me how he could make himself look big in Europe this week. So uh, I recommended that when he's going to the toilet beside Berlusconi, he stands well back from the urinal. That, that, that should do the trick. And some of the older members uh, of the cabinet come for me for advice. Uh, I know uh, Minister Noonan uh, on his St. Patrick's Day junket was worried about sunburn. Uh, so I recommended uh, uh, Viagra for sunburn to the legs. It does nothing for the burn itself, but, but it does keep the sheets off your legs for the night. <laughs> <laughs> So, Camira, uh, what about the opposition? How do you rate them? We haven't, we haven't heard much from Michal Martin in the last oh, few <laughs> <laughs> You know, going forward, it's been a very difficult time for Fianna Fáil. It's very good. They've got the control of the situation. And, uh, and I mean, uh, we're, 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 I mean, 20 seats, we haven't been that hammered since uh, Biffo's Galway thinking last year. Isn't it? Uh, and also, we're getting a very frosty reception from the media. 
I just did a pre-recorded interview uh, with the Cork DJ Neil Prendeville, as you know, and it was it was such a cold atmosphere. He kept his trousers on for the, <laughs> the entire. <laughs> but, but, uh, I've been taking inspirational advice uh, going forward from Charlie Sheen, winning trolls, <laughs> and, and, and to that end, I'm going to have to rename and rebrand the party. And considering Fianna Fáil's position at the moment, I think we should call ourselves Two and a Half Men. Uh, but we have made. I, 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 I've acknowledged the mistakes. Mistakes we've made in the past. That's very good. Uh, mistakes like, um, uh, and I have apologised for mistakes. I was in at the Chim Chinese embassy only this morning. Uh, and, uh, you know, I said to them, "Me love you a long time." That's <laughs> on. That's on. Thank you, son. But the worst thing about being in opposition is having to sit and share a bench with the Baron of Northstead, Jerry Adams. Much respect. It's the right, honourable Jerry Adams MP. Okay. No, I want to say. And I know a lot of people considered it was a disgrace that I wasn't allowed in the TG car debate. And people ask me now, they ask me, what would I have said, ask Olga, if they asked me, what would you do about the bondholders, Jerry? I would have said, knee cap them. <laughs> what would you do about the bankers? Knee cap them. <laughs> and the universal, so the universal social charge, in my view, I say, bullshit. Bullshit. Ab abolish it. Abol <laughs> Respect. That's the, you know, this is the kind of, this is the type of discrimination that we receive coming from the bastardite six county statelet. And I have a mandate now, mainly with Martin Ferris. And you try kissing Martin Ferris. It's, it's like Velcro, you know. But if I was negotiating on behalf of the government in Europe, I'd bring a bottle of whiskey and like all good horse trading, it would end in a few shots. <laughs> Now, come here, uh, David Norris, our, our good friend, is, is now oh, running, yes. running for the presidency. That is why I, I'm, I'm very much calmer than I used to be. <laughs> <laughs> Back in the day, I used to be able to go, oh, yeah, wow, yeah. This is the gayest set I've ever seen in RD. But now that I'm running for president, I have to be very reserved. <laughs> and I'm really excited because I was just reading about some of the important things I do. And the thing I'm most looking forward to is the All Ireland finals when I stand erect. <laughs> My stylist, Paul Galvin, will be there. Paul Galvin Klein, as you know. We don't know what side of the ditch he's hurling from, do we? <laughs> but he won't join me on the canvas. He's refusing to join me on the canvas because he says he prefers silk or skinny denim. And so skinny denim, it's a nightmare for erections. But anyway, Galvin, I mean, people wonder why he, he's so good at fashion. Pretty clear to me, it's all the years he's spent in the closet. Ah! <laughs> okay, steady on. Uh, let, let, let's move on there. Speaking of, of presidents, of course, Barack Obama's coming this year. You, you yeah. love all the US presidents, of course, don't you? Oh, of course. Uh, I remember Bushy. <laughs> uh, great memories of, of the, the years your prime minister used to come to me in March, uh, St. Patrick. Every March 17, he used to bring me a, a great bowl of shamrock. Mighty tasty stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Obama is. A uh, very important one to do, mainly because of my strong physical resemblance to Mr. Obama. <laughs> and, um, you know, I, uh, I'm getting a message on my Blackberry, or as it's called, politically correct term, is African American Berry. <laughs> <laughs> They're asking me to go to Money Gall. Will I go to Ireland? Yes, I can. Can I come to Dublin? Yes, I can. Will I go to Money Gall? Fuck no, it's a kip. <laughs> and, and Brian Cowan, he's, he's trying to get me to go there because I'm visiting after Easter, as we know. And he's giving up Lent for alcohol, I believe. <laughs> but I have to say, Bill, we all miss Bill. I, mean, <laughs> I have to say, the most important thing I learned in office, Brendan, was that sex gives you AIDS, but AIDS gives you lots of sex. <laughs> I mean, I'm looking now, and I see this guy, <laughs> Gaddafi, he really cracks me up. This guy has got 40 virgin female bodyguards. I got a raw deal. Maybe because Hillary... <laughs> She wore the pants in the relationship because mine were mostly down around my knees. <laughs> I mean, these suicide bombers are... I mean, these guys, for a reward, they get 70 virgins in heaven. Seven, that's a punishment. Give me t two fire-breathing whores from Dundalk any day. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I love okay. it. Uh, Oliver Callum, brilliant stuff. And of course, that uh, Knob Nation continuing. And will you be coming back with Green Tea as well? Green Tea will be back here on Radio 1 on Saturday mornings very, very soon indeed. And knobnation.com is flying all the time. Hello? Sorry, Phil Hogan is looking after me on the old earpiece. Yes, Phil. Smile and look statement. All right. <laughs> uh, listen, by the way, that, 
that, that Michal Martin, brilliant, uncanny. Ladies and gentlemen, the great funny Oliver Callum. Thank you. Thank you very much.